Hey there. Did you know Baker's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Baker's app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Baker's today. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. First, what exactly are the back rooms? Most who are familiar with the back rooms describe them as a spatial anomaly outside of actual reality. Time itself does not quite function the same and it could have entities lurking around every corner. To gain access, you must no clip out of your reality. It's said that there's no actual consistent way of doing this. It kind of just happens at random. But at the same time, there's actually ways of increasing your chances of gaining entry. The most foolproof way to find yourself into the back rooms is to locate an entrance to one of the levels. These are actual glitches in reality, and they are extremely rare and hard to find. For example, doors that were not previously there, that just appeared out of nowhere and look out of place. Walls that are a shade darker than normal and don't seem to cast any type of shadow. Another situation where you may have found yourself an entry point is when you're in an area that is uneasy and you feel like you shouldn't be there. On the extremely rare chance that you actually stumble upon an entrance, do not enter unless you really are truly prepared. And once you have the tools that you feel are necessary for survival, enter the discolored shadow or the door that will bring you to the back rooms. Some of you may get it on your first try, others it may take thousands of tries. Regardless, people that enter the back rooms tend to have a little bit of luck, or they're just very unlucky. And if you're actually crazy enough to want to enter this scenario, well, the least I can do is give you tips for survival. These are 11 tips that will increase your chances of surviving the back rooms. When you stumble into the back rooms, it might take a second to gather your bearing. But once you do, quickly become aware of your surroundings. Remain calm. Panicking, without a doubt, decreases your chances of survival. But really, the number one and most important thing you can do is accepting your fate. You're there and you're stuck until you find a way out. The only way to do this is to beat all the levels. Losing your cool and losing your mental will only lead to entities finding you that much quicker. Once you've done this so of what is around you, look at the walls, see if there's any objects you could use. Check your person to see if there's anything on you that could be useful. And if you're wondering if people have survived the back rooms, yes, they absolutely have. If they can do it, so can you. The following are more survival tips that just might help you get out of the back rooms alive. Rule number two and one of the most important tips to getting out alive is to stay quiet. When making noise, you attract the unwanted attention of entities or colonies. This is the number one way they find you, is you making noise and giving up your position. Also, by creating noise, you can attract some of the more lethal entities that exist in the back rooms that hone in by simply noise. That's how they hunt. Rule number three, always look behind. Don't forget to look behind you. These entities love to sneak up on you. That's their favorite way to get kills. So don't forget, glance back every now and then. Rule four, not all people met in the back rooms are hostile and aggressive. Some colonies are actually decent. So if they invite you in, feel it out, and they may actually help save you. Rule number five, don't be afraid to skip levels. If you know how to finish the level off and it's easy for you, do it. There is no rule against it. Rule number six, report and record everything. If you happen to find a level that hasn't been recorded yet, go ahead and record it. Don't forget about it. And a sub-survival tip on this one is that even though not all people are out to get you, it doesn't mean they're for you either. They've been known to give you false information that leads you into a trap. So really feel people out and make sure they're decent before you take their advice or their help. In the end, if what they tell you sounds contradictory or doesn't seem to add up, don't take their advice. Just turn and walk away. Rule number seven, look for useful objects. 
You can use anything in the back rooms to your advantage. And oftentimes, they can lead to success and get you out. People have even been known to use these objects to trade their way up and gain their freedom. Rule number nine, whatever you do, don't give up. When you give up, it's almost sure you will lose your life. And other people who are trapped in the back rooms are actually counting on you, whether you're associating with them or not. So don't give up. Rule number 11, try not to wander the back rooms excessively. I know you're going to have an urge to want to escape, but the more you wander, the more likely you are to run into an entity. At some points, you're better off to hunker down and maybe attempt to establish some sort of colony. Find a back room you're generally pretty familiar with and chill out for a minute. Gather your bearings and come up with a game plan. And rule number 11, avoid party goers. Party goers are entities that are on multiple levels. And at the end, they have one goal. The following are more survival tips that Again, always remember the party goers only have one thing in mind. They want to lure you to their own level so they can kill you. Their level is known as level fun. And even though it might sound like a good time, do not go there. And keep in mind that just because the back rooms are an urban legend and creepypasta doesn't mean there's no way they can exist. The majority of the population doesn't realize this, but humans are the creators of their own reality. So when the masses believe in the same thing, it can actually bring it to fruition. A large number of people just have to be on the same page for it to happen. So those of you laughing at the idea may not want to laugh too much. Because honestly, these back rooms are some of the most horrifying videos I've seen on YouTube. And trust me, it's been a long time since anything horror or suspense related has actually scared me. Remember the little things when there. The lights are there to bother you. That's why they constantly buzz and the longer you're there, the electric sound actually continues to increase. So it's not you, it's the design of the back rooms. So keep your wits about you and treat it just as what it is, a game. It's a game of survival. And for those of you actually physically seeking out going here, I would highly advise you, do not. Just stay away, there's nothing to be gained. If you follow this creepypasta, you know the chances of survival or getting out of the back rooms are slim to none. And that's because they're designed to be that way. You're not supposed to survive. The simulation or the alternate reality is. They'll always be there. But you, you may not. So I hope you all enjoyed this video on the backrooms. People have requested me to do the backrooms for a long time. And I was just kind of going through YouTube and I thought, what the heck, let's run it. Its popularity seems to go in waves. It kind of seems to be peaking again. And honestly, I can see why. It's intense, it's scary, it's thrilling, very intriguing. So again, I hope you enjoyed this segment. Let me know in the comments, do you guys believe in the back rooms? Or say, would you go there for a million dollars? Would you go there for free? Uh, at the end of the day, I'm curious to hear your opinions. And as always, my Night Guy fam, it has been a pleasure. Y'all are class acts, best following on any platform. I love you guys. I promise I'm going to be able to hunker down here soon, get into my lives a little more, and make sure I continue to visit with you guys. Y'all deserve it. Stay in the light.